Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in, or wherever you may be in the world. Uh, welcome to Lorena's Labyrinth. Obviously, I'm Anna Pirelli. So today we're going to be talking about the colour chocolate um, and its uh, properties that uh, can be used for healing or what it can indicate. And in fact, you know, it's probably about time that I made mention of the fact when we're drawn to a colour, it it's an indicator of something that's going on within us and this is where this idea of properties and um, healing comes from in regard to the colour. Of course it's also associated with the concepts of chromotherapy which you're going to see in the um, introductory type videos that I've made for the Power of Colour playlist and from there I think we're pretty close close to uh, jumping into the actual content today. I'll try and keep it brief. In the meantime I want to thank you for uh, being part of my journey and also to ask you just to have a little bit of patience today if you don't mind I'm recording this at a time um, ahead of schedule shall we say because I'm trying to get the content loaded reliably so I can work on another project but I have managed to get myself a little doggy and I've only had him for a couple of days so he's a little bit demanding he's like having a toddler so if I have to stop and start and there's variations with the voice and volume and that kind of stuff I do apologize but the only way I'm going to be able to get through it is just to crack on and do the best I can and thank you for your tolerance in advance and for being part of my journey so the first thing to note of course is that when we talk about colors and their healing properties and associations and that kind of thing this is because the colors are associated with the chakras and color rays so when we talk about um, chocolate as a color it's got the properties of both brown and black so from this perspective there is one chakra in particular i'll make mention to that is not on this image here but browns and black they tend to incorporate elements of other colors if we were to mix it up on a paint palette we'd have um, variations of the primary colors um, to bring through this brown shade but basically speaking or in the most simplest form what we associate the color chocolate with is actually the what's called the star chakra now if you were to stand up and you'd be going like where's the earth star because that's what it's called earth star chakra where is that well if you stand up um basically energetically it's about a foot below your feet when you're standing and it's kind of like an anchor point or an, an anchor of the energy that comes through the universe and through your aura and into the center of the earth so it's called the earth star chakra um, but when we talk about the properties of the color the little bits of black that is in brown um, they carry properties of intuition freedom and liberation so that is going to be a theme that will be carried through when we look at the color chocolate so when we talk about the earth star um, to be more specific it connects us to the earth and it supports us to have healthy boundaries and so the color chocolate is associated with that and about creating healthy structures you know sometimes we might need to feel uh, or get some support you know as in this image here so if you've been feeling as though you're struggling to deal with some of the pressures of life particularly by people around you or potentially through work workplace boundaries and that kind of thing it might be a time to look at what is going on within your environment and whether or not you're allowing people to take advantage of you um, because you're uncomfortable perhaps and I just say this is an example with saying no um, sometimes it's people struggle to self-care within their relationships and they tend to compromise their own health to accommodate other people's needs now what this means is your boundaries are compromised i've got videos up on um, how to create and maintain boundaries uh in the oh what oh i can't remember what the playlist is called i'll put it in the link or the description if not ask me write a comment ask me where the content is and i'll put the link up later okay so you might need to be putting in place some structures to support you to remain strong um, to remain healthy and you might need to call upon your divine team of support workers as well if you don't have people with physical bodies around you to help you navigate some of these changes now just to be clear when we're struggling with some really difficult situations support structures can actually be mental health professionals or even behaviorists so that's just something for consideration 
So chocolate is believed to also assist us to access the shadow side of ourselves, you know, and this is part of allowing for a deeper and heightened awareness and understanding of who and what we are, um, particularly in regard to our spiritual and physical self. And it's part of our striving to achieve this personal excellence and to evolve and develop our personality. Oftentimes, um, the shadow can is referred to as that aspect of ourselves that we don't particularly like. That can be part of what we mean by the shadow. But it can also be that stuff of who and what we are, what drives us, what motivates us is laying beneath the surface. And we might find ourselves doing repeating behaviours, which could be, you know, if we go back to the boundaries, you know, this long history of I never say no to people or I continually put others before myself. You know, what drives that behaviour? To get that understanding, what is driving this behaviour that is actually causing a lack of health for us? So this is a part of raising to the conscious that which lies beneath the surface. So the point being... Um, when we are experiencing these challenges and feeling, I suppose, drained and fatigued and struggling to keep going, we would use the colour chocolate as part of nourishing our soul uh, because this information that we can bring through to the conscious, that means that we can unpack it. So if I was to look at this image that I've put up here for you with this person pushing that big ball upwards, if some of that can be unpacked, the journey is easier. But theoretically, drawing upon the colour of chocolate will actually help you to keep pushing that big ball. If we're talking about the big ball is basically your responsibilities and obligations and all the rest of it, chocolate is said to replenish and nourish your internal resources to give you the strength to keep going on that upward spiral, if you like. But of course, it's always going to be an easier journey if you can unpack that ball and yeah make it a bit lighter and of course as life becomes easier life becomes sweeter let's be real um, as the burdens minimize we're able to be more receptive to experiencing sweetness of life and this is what this activity here is designed to do this is a very simple one it's a visualization if you can't make it yourself but goodness me if you could drink that and you like chocolate the image that I've got happening here, um, a physical activity when done mindfully um, is certainly very beneficial. But either way, so the recommendation here is either do it or imagine yourself doing it, making yourself a cup of hot chocolate, slowly sip the warmth and sweetness into your body. And as you do so, you take your time with it, you roll the flavors around your mouth and you allow yourself to experience this sweetness entering your body and your soul. Now, as you do so, you would be asking yourself a couple of questions. Now, with any of these activities, actually, you would do the um, state your intention and purpose before you start the activity. So what I would be doing is, um, as I'm making the coffee, saying, you know, I want to reflect on what nourishment actually means to me and what I can be doing to nurture myself and to self-care uh, throughout my day. And do I actually do it? So this is a whole reflective activity. So as you're sipping on this cup of hot chocolate and savouring it and allowing it to roll through your, you know, over your tongue and your teeth and as you swallow it, and don't forget to bring your... Um, sense of smell into this as well because chocolate's got a beautiful aroma then you ask your questions you know are you self-caring do you create time to self-nurture are you nourishing yourself um what do you do for yourself to self-care throughout your day and do you even do it at all you know but totally savor the experience now once you've been having your hot chocolate now if you're extending this out and taking a while to drink this hot chocolate you can actually be doing the activity whilst you're um because there's a physical part of this so I should have actually said actually preparation is get a notepad and a pen so as you're having this hot chocolate write down be creative write a list of 10 things that you can do for yourself over the next week that are going to help to nourish and nurture both your body and your spirit looking after your physical and spiritual health 
Now, the really important thing is when you write your list and you put the 10 things on there that you can do to self-care, you've got to make sure that you do them. So it's about being reasonable with what you can do and what you can't do. Um, it could be actually committing to doing a meditation once or twice a week or joining a meditation group. It could be as simple as having a soak in the tub um, and using some essential oils. Whatever it is that you feel are things that you can do to nurture your soul and your sense of self, these are the things that you need to write on the list and do them. Make sure you do them, okay? Now, before you start writing your list, you could actually uh, do this invocation here as well, or you could do it before the um, exercise of making this hot chocolate, or you could actually do it when you're in the process of self-caring as well. Now, just remember, whenever it comes with an invocation, um, you always follow up with thanks be because as I ask, so I receive that kind of thing. It sort of affirms energetically that you recognize that um, you will be receiving the benefits of this. Uh, anyway, what can I say about this? Quite simply, just that for me, I think the easiest thing, because I've got a bathtub, is actually to do a soak in the tub. Um, but it could even be just a foot bath. You know what I mean? If you don't have access to a bath, um, one of those little tubs that you soak your feet in and do something for your feet, it could even be something that you pay for, but you don't have to spend a lot of money to self-care. It can even be committing to going for a walk once a week or twice a week and um, just looking after your physical self. Because as we do that physical activity, the spiritual aspects tend to come in as well or the spiritual benefits, shall I say, not necessarily the spiritual aspects. But if you're doing, say, mindful walking in that, it's got that double whammy effect. So, my friends, that is the message for chocolate. Another nice short one today, and that's exactly the way we like them. Nothing too hard, nothing too big. So, anyway, let me know how it runs for you. Let me know if you give it a try and whether or not you feel that you've received any benefits from it. Um, in the meantime, for now, I'm going to say love you, leave you. Thanks for being part of my journey. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye for now. Take care.